believe it or not, just one year ago, I failed my at math tragically. And I started to lose faith in myself because I was aiming to get into medical school. And in order for me to even pass to get into medical school, I need to exceed the bare minimum. And an F for at math and B minus for mathematics is literally like lower than the bare minimum. But I didn't just stop there. Instead, I make a change in myself. And as a result, I managed to transform my mark from an F to an A in just four months. You can literally see how desperate I was. So in this video, I am going to share the perfect study strategies for those who are aiming to transform their marks like I did. But before we start, if you want more tips on SPM, study tips in general, or even uni vlogs, make sure to subscribe to this channel and share this channel to whoever you think might need my help in this particular subject. Your support means the world to me. Now, without further ado, let's get rolling. The first thing that I need you to do is go and grab one set of question paper and put it in front of you. And then look at the first question. Yeah, just look at it, okay? Now, by just looking at it, can you predict the answer right away? If no, then we have a problem. Because have you ever heard your teacher said that a good student will know the answer to a question by just looking at them? Well, technically, they don't actually mean a numerical answer, but more of the form of answer and the method of calculation used for that question. For an example, when you look at this question, you will know that there will be two possible answers for x and you will need to use the formula instead of factorizing them like that. But how do we reach that kind of level? To do that, I want you to go and grab your most recent exam paper, list down all of the topics assessed in that paper and how much you have achieved for each topic. Based on that, you will see which topic you master the most and which topic you are really weak at. With that, you will know which topic you will have to pay more attention to and the strongest ones are the ones that you will aim to have full marks on your next exam. Nope, full marks. Next, how to turn your weakest to your strongest. Back to basic. Understand the calculation method and process instead of memorizing them blindly. You need to also memorize the laws and understand them at the same time. Sometimes when you are figuring out like the formula, you will ask yourself why does this kind of formula exist? That's why proving exists in your textbook. You might going to take some time to understand the proving method, but it's worth your time. For instance, let's take a look at differentiation topic. Ask yourself this question. Why do we differentiate this equation? The answer to that is because by differentiating this equation, we will get a new equation that will give us the value of the gradient for a tangent to any coordinate point within the graph. Next, how to gradually build up your momentum. This is where your textbook questions and topical questions from your topical modules will play a role. Once you start doing questions from your textbook or topical questions from your topical module, you will realize that the pattern of the question is just the same and it's just that the scenarios are changed to make them harder. And you will also realize the multiple patterns used again and again for each topic. Like literally, you can see the same pattern for each topic. For an example, let's look at this logarithm topic. You can see that the form of question is literally similar. What different is that the numerical data given and the answers? That's all. Literally, that's all. Bonus tip. Now, when you are answering your question during the exam, one thing that you need to do is identify the topic. Like when you look at a question, can you know which topic does this question come from? By doing so, it will make you more easier to understand and predict what type of method calculation that you are going to use. And next, you need to extract all of the information given even if you are really clueless, by extracting all of the information given from the question, you will somehow find a way to calculate and find the answer. 
I used a lot of this technique when I was so blindly like careless and blindly have no idea what to do during exam. It just helped me a lot to lower down my anxiety and help me to move forward and proceed with other questions. Lastly, stop being just a learner. Be a learner and a teacher. Don't be afraid to make mistakes and be confident when you're trying to teach your friends about the new methods or new calculation process that you have learned. Explain every step of the calculation to your friends step by step and some tips and tricks on how to make the calculation easier by your own point of view. By doing so, you will understand much more on that question and you will realize which part of the question or which part of the topic that you will have to upgrade yourself to. And of course, be brave to make mistakes and learn from them. With failure comes success. And that's that. So the takeaway key is that you have to start believing in yourself. Start working hard from this second. Even you watching my video till the end is a little effort coming from you. So have faith in yourself that you are going to succeed. Thank you so much for watching my videos and lending your ears in your time for me. If you want more contents and more videos, subscribe to this channel and comment down below what subject should I do next. Thank you so much and Assalamualaikum.